Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So as you can see in here, we got some pretty good lighting going on now. So I've got the track lighting. I put some, I, I, bought, I, don't know, I built some track lighting. Sorry, I just got up. So it's gonna, <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit bonkers here for the first little bit. So I got, put some track lighting up here. The cool thing about these lighting is, is that you can just, you know, turn them on and off by just clicking on them, which is really awesome. This one you can't, but you can. There you go. We can turn them on and off just by clicking on them. So we got them put up here. Just leave this off for now so you can see what kind of lighting we're, we're dealing with. So this track lighting is actually pretty good. It's This is the fluorescent light. Uh, not track lighting, sorry. It's the fluorescent light. And it actually, it looks really nice. I kind of really like that one. This one I'm okay with. It's more, more of a basement light. It's kind of got that 3200 degree Kelvin kind of look to it. Um, this is like 5600 because it's fluorescent, right? But then we got this guy over here. Or sorry, 4700 fluorescent. We got, I got one of these little button lights that I made. I, I wanted just to see what it would look like. So I just dropped it on the wall here because this was really dark over here. Now we need to get some lighting for in here. I haven't kind of worked on the roof at all for this. So, But then down here we got another one of these and no ceiling on the wall here. I put another um, um, fan light in up here. Oops, that's my headlight. There we go. Right, so it adds a little bit more light down here. Now it's not really that atmospheric. But it's okay, like this is running with my uh, my headlamp off, right? So it's actually nice and well lit up down here. It actually kind of looks really nice at night too. So the kitchen and dining room are both really well uh, lit up. I put some track lighting in here, but I kind of, I didn't rotate it before I did it. So it's kind of hitting the ceiling, which is okay. The problem is, is this has got 10,000 hit points now and I can't just pick it up. So it's kind of stuck here, right? So it doesn't light much up. But then I got another one here where I just rotated it. Right, so it adds just this little bit of splash down here. Yeah, come on. Right, and I think in the future when I'm building a base, that's what I'll probably do with the walls, is do detract lighting like that. So, yeah, you know, with this lighting, I wish I had done this sooner, but um, I can play around with the lights and make this place look really, really nice. But as you can see here, I did a little bit of painting uh, between episodes. We came back yesterday after doing the Shamway Foods building, and it was late at night. I, I drove the car home at night. Um, that wasn't actually too bad, believe it or not. It wasn't too bad getting home. Uh, and then I just decided to work on the rest of this place. So I just painted it a little bit, got the ceiling all painted and done, put the lights in, you know. I haven't done the stairs here yet. But, uh, yeah, so I got a bit of that done down there. And that's about it, I think. I don't think I did anything else here, did I? Oh, yeah, I'm making some more, um, Magnum ammo, using up some of the, uh, gunpowder we had because, to be honest, we're completely out of Magnum ammo, um, so we got that done now. We can turn this off. So we got another stack of gunpowder I was able to, to uh, craft. Let's open that up and put that in here. We do have enough pipe bombs, I think, for the last Horde Knight. Uh, pretty close. That's what, like what, 150 roughly? So I think we'll be okay. We got one contact grenade and a crap ton of ammo. Right? We're good, I think, for Horde Knight. So we've got Molotovs too we can use if we have to. Dynamite if we really want to just blow the base up in the end. You know, a couple of grenades in total. So yeah, I think we're ready. Um, we may want to make some more AP ammo. But, I don't know. Put that back in here. But right now i got some stuff for the traders. we got to go hand our quest into our trader down here. And then when we come back, what I want to do is I want to work on the base and get it ready for the Horde Knight. Um, I don't know if I'll do another mining run before Horde. Uh, I might. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Hey, what's up, people? Don't hit my car. Don't hit the car. What are you doing? I think that the zombies don't see the car as an object. It's hard to tell what they what they determine as an object and what isn't. And somehow I don't think they think a car is like something that they can go around? I don't know, because it's just, these new cars, they just don't see them the same way they see the regular cars. Where they'll beat on them or jump over them. Alright, we got a lot of work to do on this base before this is actually done. I don't know if we're actually going to finish this whole thing before day 70, and if we don't, I'm going to keep going past day 70 until it's actually done. But it's actually not that bad, I mean, we're getting there. I mean, we do have to put the, the ground down, I need a lot more clay for that. Oh, hey, Mo's over there. But this is starting to look pretty good in here. I did a bit of painting inside, too. I'll show you here in a second. I just kind of got the floor. 
I got the floor painted in there. So, and I'm planning on doing this out here like these. I think maybe these corner pieces will be like this. All the way around. And then I'm not sure what I'll do here concrete wise. I think it's got to be concrete though. What I should do is I should add camo out here. Uh, maybe not. Not in the wasteland. Why would there be camo in the wasteland, right? Alright, let's get to the trader. I love my car. And my car loves me. Alright, let's get in to see this guy. So it's day 66. The trader does get more stuff tomorrow. But I'm just kind of going a bit early. I don't really care. Not like we need the dukes. We got so much money. I got like hey, 120,000 sitting at home. Man. Ooh, Desert Vulture Liver 4. Great. Just I think that's better than what we have. Could be. Okay, let's just sell off this other stuff though. Alright, that stuff's all sold off. I meant to fuel up the, the bike too. Now I don't think... Yeah, you don't restock yet, so you don't have anything that we're going to want. Pretty sure. Right? Because we've already been through your stock. Yeah, we're just waiting for you to restock now. Alright, got any jobs? Fetch clear to the southwest. Uh, clear zombies. What's This is the tower, I think. I have a little Skyscraper, yeah. I gotta accept that. Green. It's one of the few things we haven't done in this series. I don't think we'll ever get to that tower, but... We might. I mean, I've done it in the other series, so... Been through it a couple times. Alright, let's work on the base. Now, I thought about... I was thinking about this last night while I was, like, getting ready to go to bed. But, you know how we got this pillar here? I wonder if we should add, like, another pylon on the other side. Kind of put a roof across it and maybe put the garage out here. So it would just be like a, a you know, a carport, like a shed. That would just kind of go, like, cover the car up at nighttime. I don't know. It might cause confusion with the zombies attacking the base at night, so... I'll probably just not do that. But we do need to work on the base and get this all updated. So we're going to go inside, get our materials, um, and then get to work. Yep, so that desert, that desert Vulture is better than the one we have, just by a couple. So that's nice. Let's just go ahead and modify you. I love how the weapons you buy off him have got um, ammo in them. But the ones that you don't buy off them, like that you get as a reward, have nothing in it. <laughs> it's like, here you go. I don't care about you. All right, we'll take this stuff down. We need, we might need this, I don't know. And we might get into some of this, so we'll bring that down. We need to rebar. Um, I got to think about... I'm going to bring these down. I got to think about where I'm going to put those. I thought about putting them on the sides of the building. Like on the on the sides of the pillars. But the zombies might get caught up on them. That's what I'm worried about. Is if they get caught up and start beating on shit, it's going to be a bad time. Alright, let's leave these guys in there. Do we need anything else? SMG turret. Let's bring that out. We might be using that. I don't think we'll need the fence posts, but let's bring some of them. Bring some of these. Some cobblestone just in case. Uh, I think that's really all we have, eh? Oh, we got steel too here. Um, I made a bunch and it's in here now. Grab the forged iron, the steel. We don't have a whole lot. We are. I think we are definitely going to have to go mining one more time. So that's going to be tonight. We'll go into the mine tonight and we got somebody else down here. Of course we do. Yo, buddy. Stop, yo. Ooh. All right, now around this side. Yeah, see, we got so much work to do. All right, so they did a little bit of damage to this. Not much. Gonna have to repair all the blocks first. Yeah, see, very. there's no demos on this side. So they really did, like, nothing, you know? That's two hits. That's one, one. Yeah, like, it's very little damage here. And it's only because, like, there's no demos, right? The pipe bombs do nothing to the base. Alright, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go around and get all the blocks repaired. And the ones on the other side replaced that need to be replaced. And then we'll decide what we're doing at that point. Oh, we got a wandering horde. What's up, yo? Are they a wandering horde? 
sure are. At least it seems that way. They may have just spawned in, though. There's only five of them. Unless the rest of them ran past my house. I think they did. I think they just ran past. Alright, let's get back to repairing. Alright, so I just basically finished repairing... Well, basically, I just finished repairing this corner pretty much of where the demo went off. And there's a couple of blocks that were almost down. Like, this block in here was almost down to nothing. It had like 1,100 hit points left. But for the most part, most of these blocks, you know, no problems. With one demo going off, not a big deal. It's when we're going to have multiples that's really going to be the issue for this base. So we really need to be able to focus them down. Um, I, 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 All I can think of is just dropping a crap ton of pipe bombs in there. What we need to do though is get this stuff in here upgraded. This is the concrete block that's underneath these guys. Right there. Reinforced concrete block. So that's all done. This is all repaired. Yeah, I'm shocked that the demo didn't break these blocks. But he must have been in the trough when it went off, so that's probably why. Yeah, there's a bit of damage up here too. But nothing anywhere else. And it's got to be all from demo and cop explosions, because the rest of this is like untouched. Right? Actually, let's just go ahead and upgrade these guys. Okay, now that's done. Yeah, we got a little bit of damage here. Once again, this is from the, the demo explosion. Not zombies beating on anything. Alright, so it looks like we're set and ready to go here. This whole base has been repaired. Now, we've got... Ooh, I used like half of my steel for that. We've got 30 blocks left that we can do. So I want to go ahead and get this top rung put in. All the way around. Okay, that leaves me a little bit for repairs on the inside because I think there was a couple of blocks yeah I got to go around the inside here still and repair some of the blocks in here so I'm going to go inside um, wait where was that oh, that's concrete and that's the steel yeah we got to do the blocks on the inside still too so those are the ones I haven't done so that's actually a fair bit well I mean in the overall scheme of things it really isn't a lot of steel like 250 steel at this point in the game is not really a lot of steel. Alright, let's get these updated. Oop, not that one. Alright, so that's this inside done. Looking pretty good now. Oop, we're out of steel. Alright, so we can't fix that. Not that it matters. And this is all done in here. Yeah, so I did a bit of work in here too. Um, just a little bit of paint work. Not much, but we're getting there. We'll get the rest of this painted up eventually. I mean, I guess I should take this wood trim out because they're really not doing anything in here. Ooh, these blocks took some damage too, right? Eh? It's all pipe bomb damage though. Alright, well we're good in here now. Alright, let's go... Uh, we really bottlenecked on steel again. So we're going to have to do mining, I think. We are going to have to go mining, so that's what we'll do right now. Let's get um, you out of the here. Got our pickaxe. I mean, we could... How much fuel do we have? That's supposed to go for the bike. Now, how much gas do we have left? Not a lot. This goes for the car. Um, I don't foresee us needing to drive anywhere, really. So maybe we do use the auger a bit down below. Uh, where is our auger? Where are you? Do we get rid of it? I think we got rid of it. We put it in here. Oh, here we go. Level 3 auger. I mean, we... I don't know how much faster it's really going to be. Probably a lot faster. Alright, well... Now we should have... Did we have it in here? I thought we had the extended tank mod. Uh, we need that. Extended tank mod, extended tank mod, not in there. I think I sold them all. Figuring I'd never use this thing. Yeah. Yep, I sold them all. Well, it's too bad. 
All right, well. Mm. All right, now do we have the Iron Breaker? We still don't have Iron Breaker. Really? Um, Bunker Buster. No, we don't even have Iron Breaker yet. Wow, that's crazy. That's something that this is the first time I've ever done a playthrough where I didn't have both. Could certainly use that. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. Can we use a structural brace or something? What's this? Tempered blade mod? That extends to life, I believe. I don't know if we can use it though. No, it won't go on there. Um, actually, can we get the burning shaft mod on there? Help us see down there. Nope. Won't let us do that either. Uh, ergonomic grip or fortifying grip? Probably not. Oh, you know what? Let's take this guy instead. I guess the diamond tip mod would be working really well too, but this will help us get through the uh, the sand down there too. All right, let's go ahead and grab some fuel. How much is this filling up? 306. Wow. Ah, we're going to burn through that so fast. Okay, well, let's grab one of you guys. Bunch of you guys. Uh, we want rock busters. Here, we'll take three of them. Oh, do I want to dig here or do I want to go over to the other mine? It's six of one, half dozen of another, because either way I got to go up and down and fight zombies. But at least if I'm here, if we get a Screamer Horde, I can deal with it effectively here. So let's just do it here. Alright, you noisy fuck, let's get to work. Oh yeah, I forgot we got the chance to one-shot now. Oh yeah. It might... Uh, it's still... Nah, I think it's still faster doing it this way. I was going to say it might be better if we do it and save our gas, but... Come on. Yeah, you know what? We're going to lose all our gas doing it that way. It's going to go so fast, too. Like... All right, I didn't realize we were this low in iron down here. I thought we had a lot more. But we are, like, tapped out pretty much here on iron. So I think I'm going to have to make a trip to the other... Uh, the other site because we barely got anything here all right well we got to go back upstairs we got some idiots banging on the base uh, if I can get up back upstairs well, I don't think we did too bad down here I mean it's enough to get some more steel moving yeah he's like trying to figure out where to get in I heard him banging on concrete but now he's banging on steel hey, well. nut shots Costing me money, buddy. Go away! How many shots to the pills can one zombie take? Good gourd. Good gourd! Uh, what am I doing? Going upstairs. Put some iron in the forge. As. Oh, God. Really? So it's, uh, that's what happens when you play Minecraft. It's like, my buttons are totally different for Minecraft than it is for this, so... Oh, we got 6,000 more. I got a lot more than I thought I got. Alright, well... I need, like, what, 20... 40-something in there? Get that in. Do the same thing here. And get you going. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, drop you in there. Let's get some wood in this thing. Get as much concrete moving as we can. I don't know how much we're going to need moving forward, but or much cement moving as we can. But you know, better to have it than not to have it. All right, let's just throw you back in there, and you can go in there. I'm going to hold on to the diamond. I think I don't know if we can make a diamond tip mod yet, but might as well hang on to it. Now we got sand. We don't have any mix yet. That's what we're missing. Got stone. All right, we can make a bit more gas. 
248. Uh, perfect. Let's get that gas moving. Okay, we got that going. Um, um is not a word. Let's do... Do I want to upgrade this floor to concrete? Probably. Let's do that. I know I got this. Ah, I got the ceiling downstairs painted already. I want to go ahead and wreck. Go ahead. Go ahead and wreck my painting. I don't think I do. Says the guy, and then gets his base completely obliterated. Do I want to do? Ah, uh, I should probably do concrete. I don't think it's really going to matter, though. That's the thing. Like, I don't foresee... Like, the only thing we have to worry about is the zombies breaking in here, but it's only going to happen if we're like... Um... You should all be repaired. It's only going to happen if we're forced to retreat back into the base, right? That they're going to be hitting here. The birds are what I should be worried about now. Because if we have to retreat back inside the base, they're going to tear the roof right off this place. I mean, do we just go... Oh, I'm waffling. I got the resources. Let's just upgrade it. Actually, I think I what I want to do here... Let's go around this way. Uh, we want to go ahead and make some wood frames. We've got eight. I think I'm going to need... This so we have some leftovers. Now, I want to go ahead and take this out of here. Because I said I was going to put a big window in here, and I think I want to do that still. Although, I don't know. It's a full block, so it's going to look a little weird, I think. I may have to, like, upgrade the inside, too. Like, I may have to upgrade all this stuff and make this a secondary wall here. Well, let's see how it looks. Um, so, shape, I think we've got it down here, right? Uh, where are you? Is it in this one, or, do, or is it a specific shapes, shapes that I can make? It is in this one. So that, yeah, it is a whole... That's going to stick out from the house. I think it needs to be back one. I think so. Uh, advanced. So, like that. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Uh, we go shape. We can go with... It's just going to be a big round window. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you. Can go there. And then... You can go there. You can go there. Yeah, that doesn't matter because we're going to be painting that. And then we need to do... Oops, not copy rotation. We need to do shape, you, like that. And then we need to do shape and centered plate. And add uh, uh, rotation, no. Bits. Advanced. So we'll be painting it to make it look proper. Okay, so let's go ahead then, pull these guys out. Two. Three, four. Uh, 
And I think what we do here, let's take this bit out. And that bit's fine. So I need to make probably like, let's just make 20 of these. We're gonna use them. Frames, come on. Shape, frame. Oh, for crying out loud. Let's just get this upgraded to one. Right? Ugh, it's off center and I hate it now. Damn it, I think we need to take this out. We gotta take this arch out. I wanted to keep this lantern, but there's no point anymore because uh, we can make them. So let's go ahead and get you. Might as well get some electrical parts from it. Okay, now we can dig this up. Excellent. Take you out of there. Well, there goes my nice arch, but whatever. Okay, so we do that, and I think we need to leave this one how it was, so we need to get the angle block back in there. Copy rotation. That's the wrong one. Shape and you. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell, but we could go down one more. And rather than being an... Well, now nah, let's leave it as a circle. I think it's fine. Now, the only question is, I can't upgrade them. So, it's like completely susceptible to being destroyed. We're just going to have to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, right. Well, if it does happen, then it happens and there's not much we can do about it. I don't need to put this to concrete, but I'm going to... Because I made a mistake and then it looks weird. Alright, and we'll just go one row here with this wood. The roof above this, above this is already wood, like reinforced wood anyway, so this just adds a little extra protection. Alright, there's that. Okay, let's go get the paint and paint this. You can see what I mean though, like if I turn off my headlamp down here. The atmosphere is kind of nice and no matter what room you move into it's just kind of well lit, you know. These, like, the, the lighting is just so cool. It, did, it makes all the difference in the world for the game, you know. Like it just, so much atmosphere, you know. Anyway, alright, enough, enough words. Let's get into this and get some painting done. Now, uh, I think we want to go nice wood here along this, this part right and then let's get this let's get the outside of this done unfortunately I have to do this in the center here too because these blocks it takes both of them so it's going to be wood on the outside too all right so this part what kind of do we have any half decent glass or we do we got this stuff I mean, I don't know. Kind of makes it look like a toilet in here. Or does it? It's actually not too bad. I mean, comparatively to the kind of glass that we do have, we got the blinds. This, we've got this. I thought there was like black bubble as well. But I think that's just in the glass texture when you're making regular glass. 
Yeah, I mean, that'll do. That'll do. All right, let's go outside and paint that. Oh, I see. It's already painted the outs. Oh, yeah. See, we got to do the same wood here too. So, um, not really that thrilled about that though. Uh, I guess it could work. As long as we get the right paint out here on these guys to make this really stand out. What kind of paint though? That's the question. All right, now I think we're gonna have to like do all this. So tomorrow's day 67. I say we go hit up the traders and see if there's like more cobblestone because we're gonna burn through this, putting it up on the roof. I don't know if I'm gonna need to go to um, concrete for the roof, but uh, at least cobblestone for sure. If we got, to, uh, I mean, we'll probably have the concrete to do the rest of the roof, but it would be nice to at least have all this oops, update, uh, updated. You know what we should do? Let's get these guys back out here. Ah. We should, because this is sticking out a bit, maybe we should add a second kind of big window in here. You know? And give it a bit of, like, character. So if we go... Uh, shape... And where's our window again? Down here. That's interesting. That's the bottom corner. So if we go here. Then if we do the top corner. Maybe in here? Oh shit, I can't. So the top corner would have to be there. Don't know if I like that. Uh, it'll be bigger than a circle too. It'll be an oval, which I'm not sure I like. Actually, that might not look too, too bad. It might not look too bad. So if we go this route, I think we need to use, oop, uh, down here, these guys. Like that. For there and there and up here. So that goes there. And then, come on. There. And then in here we can put the regular, uh, our regular blocks. Like that. And then we take, let's get another 20 of these. Man, we're going to need wood soon. What the hell? So we go shape and standard blocks in here. And then here, maybe we do... Um, where are you here? That way? If we do do that, we got to take this out then. Okay. 
We want double doors here too? Probably. I don't know. Uh, let's go... That. Do we do that all the way along though? Hmm. Just don't have the right angle blocks, I don't think. I should probably take this one out too. Okay, so we want to go square in here, right? And then here, can we do, we've got an angled corner. It's not that one though, it's, uh, is it this guy? Ah, uh, it's not. All right, it's not that one. You know what we could do though? Like, let's take this door out completely. Okay. And then we can do, let's take these guys out. Okay. Do that, and we can take out this guy. And we take out this guy. Then we take out both of these guys. You and you, and maybe you. And then what we do is... Is this, can this go, it can go a different way. Actually, let's go back to simple. And then we go advanced. Now, um. That's how it would have to go. That's a little weird though, I think. And uh, shape, we go this route. Because we can just fill this wall in. Yeah, because see, this doesn't match up here anymore. The overhang won't match up right. Uh, we go shape, we go this route. Yeah, simple. Like it would have to do that and that. Then I guess this guy would have to be a square block. It's the only thing I can think that's gonna work. And even then it doesn't work, you know? Uh, we just don't have the right angle for that. Yeah, we just don't have the right angle for that. Unless we change up these guys to be something different. I mean, we could do them as just regular um, shapes like this. Six, and then we can find the right corner for that. Yeah, that'll probably work. It's not how I wanted it, but that's how I'm getting it, unfortunately. Okay, let's take that out of there first. Upgrade you. Ah, we got a wandering. The wandering horde, or is it just one guy? One guy.
Yo, over here. Well, what's up, buddy? Got a party going on now. The Hawaiian guy's here. Anybody else? Yep, more. That must have been a horde. All right, we got to go down to the traders today. It will be the second last trader day. Yeah, his level six club's working well for me. It'll be the second last trader day today. Oh, we got one more down here. Come on, lady, bring it in. I got stuff to do here. Okay, those guys are all in. Now we can just go ahead and... Why can I not... I could do it for all the other guys. Alright, well, let's get some frames. What the... The lag is killing me here. What the hell is going on? What's it being attached to? It's making me fall. Where do those frames go? Ah, uh, whatever. Fuck it. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. We'll fix that when we get back up to the attic. Or up on the roof, that is. Uh, why am I seeing through blocks here? Whatsoever. Wait, did this not... Why didn't it... Am I m missing? No. I don't understand what the hell is going on here with the textures. Okay, let's get our bubbles. I think though, um, no, I picked this texture, come on. That probably needs to be that though, to look proper from down here. Yeah, we got some real bad texture clipping here. So I mean, that might be okay. All right, let's go ahead and fill this in. I gotta finish, ah, uh, we need wood. Yeah, we definitely need wood now. We definitely need wood. Shit. Getting crazy lag too. I don't understand why it's so laggy today. All right, well, we're on a cobblestone. Didn't do too bad, though. Got at least this part of the roof done. Uh, if worst case scenario, we're going to be standing right here at the top of the stairs. So, yeah, that'll be okay, I think. I'm going to do that, though, just because. All right, I'm going to put this stuff away. We're going to go see the traders. See what they got for me. Um, and then I might go hit up our other mine for some more iron. We definitely gonna need more steel. Those guys can stay here. I don't know, like, let's just bring this out because I wanna see what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, you can stay here. You're going away. I'm going to keep the impact driver out because I'm going to try and wrench some stuff here. You can go away for now. You can go away. Yeah, we got like no steel. How are we doing here? Oh, pretty good. 245. So we're getting almost another 500 steel out of this stuff. 
Okay, you. Yeah, we might have enough to get the roof done. Yeah, 703 there. That's going to give me another stack of a thousand. Yeah, we might have enough to get the roof done. I'm going to buy what I can from the traders too, so hopefully uh, we can get some stuff off them. Let's go get something to eat before we go. Paint. A little bit of FUD. All right, now we don't really have anything. There's a hundred thousand we got left over. We don't really have anything to sell the trader. I mean, there's a few things, but I thought it's going to make a difference in our life. Oh, I don't have cobblestone. Uh, so let's go down there. I'm going to go see the far trader first, and we'll come back to our guy up here. Shamway Foods, we owned you. Well, we didn't really own it. We did well. We did well in there. I'm kind of shocked that that just seemed tougher than the Shotgun Messiah. It took longer, but I think there was a lot more, um, there were a lot more areas where you had to pull multiple zombies. Like there was a couple of rooms that had at least 15 zombies in them. There we go. Who said I can't drive, eh? Eh? Oh, wrong way. I just had no sense of direction. Alright, what do we got in here? Nothing we want. I still have no idea how often that vending assistance. machine respawns. Alright, when I see your inventory, please. Anvils. Uh, let's just go this way. It's easier. Easier on the eyes. Muzzle brake, I'm gonna buy that because we might have room for it in one of the uh, things that we have. Let's buy one of you. That might be the end of the Wasteland Treasures. That would be nice. Sham Chowda. Our mixer, we don't need. Auger schematic, we don't have it, so let's buy it. Fireman's Al Almanac, let's buy that. I'm gonna buy the laser sight and the structural brace. Probably never use it, but we just buy it because we can. Uh, dart traps? I don't know. I'm whole. I'm really, really iffy on the whole concept of the dart traps for this game. They can work well in certain circumstances, but against a um, uh, a Blood Moon 64 zombie horde at insane difficulty, their impact is really nominal for the amount of like iron that you put into the darts. Maybe I'm wrong. Convince me, but that's the way I feel about them. Uh, okay. You, survivor. Check back soon. I get new merchandise there. Yeah, that was the end of that one. And that one. Oh, yeah, man. It's two more books series completed. So, uh, where are you here? Um, Wasteland Treasures. Harvest military fiber from barracks chairs and military trucks. Okay, cool. And then, what was the other one again? Oh yeah, Fireman's Almanac. Sprint longer and never encumbered in burnt forest. Well, that'll be nice when they amalgamate the uh, Wasteland and Burnt Forest for the next version, but we don't have any burnt forest here, so yay. All right, let's get back to the other trader, see what he's got for us. Actually, before we go to him, I'm gonna pull into here. We're gonna go ahead and take apart all these gas pumps. Because I'm pretty, I think you get mechanical and, and electrical parts from these guys, right? Yeah, you do. Because we're going to need, well, we probably won't need the electrical parts for the next Horde Knight, but we're running low. We got around a thousand, so, or a thousand, a hundred. I'd rather have a little bit more than that. Free iron here. So the next series I'm intending on doing, I want to do, um, Darkness Falls. I want to try that mod, but I don't know if we're going to be able to um, get to it before Alpha 20 drops. So I might do another series, which is going to be like a, a um, 
a build where you spawn series. So wherever I spawn is where I'm going to be building. And that's that's it, right? I might do it no traders. So we don't have a trader to go to. We just have to deal with what we get. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes once this one's finished up. I w I'm going to end this one on day 70 or try to end it on day 70. Um, if I need to work on the house a bit more, I might, you know, extend it a couple more. At least till the house is done, I might have like a a uh, episode like seven, like not day 71, but one episode past where it would uh, end. So I'll, you know, at least you can at least see what the house kind of looks like in the end. Because I kind of have an idea for a base that's very similar to the one that we're running now. Did I hear a bird? No. It's very similar to the base that we've got right now. But it'll be, it's definitely going to be a house and base all in one. So, if we die, we die. Like, it, it's, that, that's it, right? We got no backup, there's no horde base, it's all the same place. Alright, bit of wood there. Bit of wood here. Ooh, this battle axe is deadly. Better than a steel club almost, it's just not fast. So the benefit of doing a series like that, like with no trader, is that you're relied on to do everything on your own. You gotta be able to do it, uh, like have the skill to be able to do it. If you want workbenches or, or forges this or whatever. Like a lounge to you? It does. I'm just gonna squat right here and take a dump. Let's go ahead and buy all your ammo. Buy this. Buy that. Buy this. Uh, oh, that's nice. Dude. That's like sweetness. Should have put some stuff in the bike. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, 44 rounds. Definitely buy those. 100 mil. Uh, we got to buy this stuff. So. Just sell these guys. Gonna keep the car frame. I, mean, I don't know if we'll decide to make another car before the, this is all, all, all said and done, but I'll hold on to the frame for now. We definitely want these before the horde. Uh, we'll buy those. Got the gunpowder already. Don't need anything there. Two times scope mod. Mm. Oh, more AP 9mm. More 44 round. Oh, dude. You're my hero. You are the hero today. I asked for you to get some good stuff in and you did. That's awesome. That's a lot of ammo from this guy. You're a fucking champion, buddy. Uh, ooh, that's even nice. Look at this guy. He was ready for me today. He's like, I know what you need. I know what you need. I know what you're doing over there at your place. We well, you know what you need. I'm going to buy those. I don't know if I'll need them, but we'll buy them. And that's it. That was good. This guy had a lot of great stuff. Awesome, buddy. If there's nothing else, nope. you best be on your way. I think he's just happy I cleared up the Shamway building for him, personally. That's what I think. All right, let's get back to the house. And I want to figure out where... Oh, look at you. Look at you, little crawler. I want to figure out where these blade traps could go. Like, I got a couple of ideas. But the problem with the blade traps is they die so quickly at night. And if you, unless you've got them in a position where you can actually reach them to repair them. Actually, I kind of like that look. I mean, it's got to be painted. But I like that, those, the windows, anyway. I don't know about this one on this side, though. Yeah, it's actually not too bad, I guess. I mean, the roof is shaped a little weird, so. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead. How much gas do we got? 1,700? Mmm. Do I leave it in here? That's uh, not bother. I'll hold on to it. I may use it for uh, getting iron. 
I think we're gonna have to go hit up the other mine. So before the end of the day, we gotta go over to the other mine and I gotta go through that place. We gotta rip through it. Okay, and then uh, we'll figure out what we're doing after that. So let's get some of this stuff put away here. Okay, that stuff's put away. Let's just take a couple of these things out of here. Bring this down, bring this down. So let's go look and see where, if we were gonna add these, where would they go? Like, I mean, with these guys, you can kind of put them on the wall here. They'll run for the first little bit of the horde and then they'll die. You know what I mean? They'll be dead after a bit. I won't be able to reach them to fix them. We could put them out here, right? Like one there and one there. Or maybe we just, I mean, like, honestly, the biggest bottlenecks are right here and on the other side. So if we do do that, if we put one here, and we put one here, and maybe another one here, and then, you know, we can toss, like, These are going to die so fast though. Like a demo will go off and they'll all be dead. It'll slow the horde down for the first little bit, but then that's it, right? It'll be, that'll, that'll be all. Could put one. Like one. Two. Like three. But I think the wall, I think here and here is better. We do that and that. And maybe that. You know? Did I bring my steel down with me? 67, yeah, not a lot. Yeah, I mean, we could go that route. And then the same on this side. So we put one there. One there, and one there. That'll help control the corners at least, you know? And then the other thing we could do is put like one here, and the same on the other side. So at least they're not getting damaged by pipe bombs, you know? Although we did have a lot of guys coming through this way last time. So, I mean, we could put, like, they're liable to get more use here and be less damaged and last longer here. So, if we go one there and one there. Now, I can make a lot more of these, too, right? Where would I, I don't know, I don't know where I would put these things. That, you know, they would be continuously firing and be useful. Other than like, building like a stand here. Like one up from here. And then they would just be shooting straight into the back of the zombies here. But then they'll be hitting my, they'll be hitting my thing there. My plate. And I don't want them to be shooting my plate. I mean, Anthony had kind of a cool idea where it would be like, you could like, put them shooting down here. So if they decided to like, bang on the side or be at the side of the building, you could shoot them. But I think this will block it now. I think the way I've got it, it'll, be, it'll just be blocking them. I think if I go this way, it this it'll hit this block here. But that could be the other option too, is like put them here. We should probably test that. Let's just drop you there for a second. And then let's go go make a couple of darts.
Uh, what I want to do too, I need to make bulletproof glass too. Um, keep that crafting. But I need iron and stone to do it with. Crap. Okay, well, 54 steel there. Let's make some darts. Um, I can make 308, eh? Just gonna make 10 for now. 11, sure. And that's all in. 66 more. It's not bad. Actually, we need 210. So let's get... Might as well get that going here too. Uh, where's my darts? Oh, it comes after the steel. Steel, steel, steel. Okay, and then let's go ahead with... I need a switch. Where's my switch? Do I have a switch? I thought I had a switch. I do. One switch, I need my wire tool. So I'm just going to put a switch for now. Come on, get out the way. Ooh, kid, get out the way. Uh, right there? Can I reach it from down below? Probably. Right there. I don't think that's too far. I'm gonna run it from this power. We've got enough room. Nope. Am I red? I'm not red here. I am red here. I can't see the... Ah, for crying out loud. Ah, let's get a relay then. Actually, let's leave that there. Oh, well, you know what? Put it like that. Because we'll be able to see it easier from down... Well, we might be able to actually do it from here too, though. If I can see it a little easier... Can I see it? Ah, it's not letting me. Damn it! Damn you and your wiring. Fine, fine. We put a relay in for now. All this to test one thing, man. Come on. Okay, now we can go ahead and put you guys in there. And can I not reach you from there? Are you serious? I bet you it hits the dart trap though. Bet she hits the dart trap. Okay, six shots. Now. Okay, didn't hit this. And it didn't hit the dart trap. So that'll work. It looks ugly as hell right now, but that will work. So we can shoot them in the back. While they're running along there. I think we keep it at leg level. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Let's pick you up. Yeah, we can do that. That'll work. But if I'm going to do it, maybe I should stack them two and two. And get four of them going. You know? You know what I might do? We don't have a whole lot of time left before this horde. What I might do, whether it, the horde happens on day 70 or another day after that is really irrelevant. So what I might do is, well, they're going to extend when the horde's going to happen. And I might just do a bunch of building off camera. And then we'll come back for the final horde. Like, I mean, I, I, I think we'll be fine on day 70 to be able to take care of the horde. Um... It's not like I'm shying away from fighting the Horde on day 70. I would just rather kind of get this thing up to snuff 
you know, and be ready to go. And then fight one final horde for the series. I think that's probably what we'll do. So I'm going to repair this base. I'm going to go do some mining off camera. Uh, get everything painted. Put the driveway in. Put our, our gravel in. Like our um, lawn in. Get the base ready to go. And then um, we'll come back and fight the horde. Now I'll probably do... Like it's day 67 right now. I'll probably do a bunch of... Um, like, we'll probably go raid this building here, the Agashi Tower, before uh, the Horde shows up. So we'll do that. Like, we'll do a couple of, uh, like, maybe a couple more buildings, a couple more POIs. And then we'll come back and do the Horde. But for now, I think what I want to do is get this whole base ship shape. Like, I've been spending a lot of time doing, like, going out and doing raids and doing a bunch of stuff. But I really need to focus on this base to make it look good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll get it painted, get everything working, and I have no idea why that's, like not showing up still hopefully when I reload it's back I, I don't know what the hell is going on uh, is there something missing on the inside here no it's fine in here it's not fine out here anyway <laughs> we'll figure out what's going on um, so when we come back next time we should be ready to fight the Horde. Well, not really ready to fight the Horde, but we'll go on a mission. Um, and I'll have most of this base updated and ready to go. I'm going to paint it all, get it all looking nice in here. Uh, we'll get the walls reinforced. I'll do a lot of tree cutting and stuff uh, just so that we're prepped and we'll get this stuff painted. I might work on the little, like a little loft up here with like a little ladder that goes up. Maybe a hatch to the roof. Uh, or maybe like, the, like we'll be able to see out that window from up here probably. So I'll take all this out, like the wooden parts here, not these frames, but the wood, so we can see out from up there. Make it look real nice, have a little loft, maybe we put our bed up there. I'll make a nice bed, we'll put it up there. Yeah, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.